Hi, I'm Barbara from the Max Planck School of Photonics Coordination Office and I'm going to tell you how to apply to our program. We will go together through the registration, the documents you need and through the whole application process. There are two ways to apply, either to the study phase or the research phase. The first means you do the master and the PhD and the second is in case you already have a master. You can find more information at the website. If you're ready, let's start. The documents you need are the following. In any case, you need the scan of your passport, CV, letter of motivation, two last degrees. So in case you go to, for the study phase, it's a high school certificate and bachelor certificate. For the research phase, it will be bachelor and master. Then we need a certificate of your English proficiency. And in case you have any additional things like certificates of internships, awards and German language or GRE test, you can let us know about those as well. Importantly, you will need two references, but these are submitted by your referees directly and I'm going to tell you what you need to do for that. All right, so at our website, you will find a link to the application portal. You create a new account for yourself using your email address and you will be also able to choose here if you apply for study phase or research phase but you can also choose later or apply for both with just one registration so we're going to go for the full full program and run through the whole registration you fill your first name and last name accept the terms and conditions and create a new account now an account has been created so you should check your emails and there you will receive a link uh, that will allow you to finish the registration and create a password for you so when you click it it takes you back to the portal to your first login and there you see also a username but that is not important you will be logging in with your email address you create a password for your account and confirm that. Check that you filled your name correctly. And uh, then we will finish the registration. So you save this and your registration is finished and successful. Now, as I told you, you can choose again between the five year master plus PhD program or just the three year PhD program. So we're going to do the first one. And uh, once you start the application, so if you click here, you, you create the application itself. And now we are just registered. And uh, when you create it, you will receive an email that tells you uh, you are registered and you will need two references. Um, as I said, these are very important and they will be the first step of the application. You should also carefully read the instructions. You will find important information here and the timeline of the application period. If you fill this outside of the application period, there's only a save button. Once the application is open, you will get more options. So let's start with the references. The preferred option is that your referees fill their references themselves, but it's also possible to upload a letter but let's go with the preferred one. So you fill the name, last name and contact of your two referees. You can have up to three, but two are necessary for the application to be considered complete. Preferably use the institutional email addresses of your referees. And of course, don't forget to let your referees know that you, that you sign them up here and that they should expect an email once you send the emails to the referees. You can add some information about their affiliation, but they will be also able to fill this when they fill the reference form. So it's not completely necessary, but of course beneficial. Um, as I said, there's a third optional referee, so you can have one more if you like. And every time you do something in the portal, save it to be on the safe side. 
now uh, your information have been successfully saved and we can continue with personal information. Your name is already there. You fill uh, your date of birth in the required format. Where are you coming from? Where were you born? Your nationality, your family situation and the contact information, so your current address. Then you upload a scan of your passport, certificate of name change in, if applicable, your CV and your letter of motivation. All these documents should be in English. In case uh, your originals are not, please provide a translation. Um, in the education section, first let us know if this is the first time you're applying to our program or if you applied before and then fill information about the degree qualifying for university study so that you finished a high school. Let us know what kind of school it was, when you finished, what was the grade and what is the range of grades awarded for studies in your country because this differs and also where it was and when you attended the studies and upload some kind of leaving certificate or degree that you got from this school. Next, uh, you will fill information about your first academic degree, which will be the bachelor. So provide information about what type of bachelor, what was the main subject, again, when you finished, with which grade, what is the range of grades, which institution, in which country, and when you attended these studies. Then upload a degree certificate and importantly, a transcript of records. In case you already have a master or you have a second bachelor, you can also uh, add information about these studies, again with certificates, and save. Next, we go to the tab Professional Qualification and Work Experience. So in case you have any extra training or internships, let us know about those here, when you attended it, what was the kind of internship you had, at which institution, with whom, and what you did there. And if you have any additional references or information to confirm that you did these activities, upload, upload it here. You can provide information about two, uh, about two extra qualifications and a work experience. Same with awards and scholarships. If you received any during your studies, let us know what kind, from which institution, and when you were receiving this scholarship and there is a space for two of these. And then comes the important tab of language and tests because the English language skills are necessary. So you fill which level are you on with English. Um, you can choose from the drop down menu. Then you let us know which test you took. And there's the chance of a language exemption if you come from English speaking country or if your previous studies were in English. In which case, instead of the certificate of the test, you upload some kind of document that proves that your studies were in the English language. Otherwise, it will be just the certificate, the results of the test, and you add uh, your score and the date when you attended this. If you have any German experience, let us know as well, but it's not necessary uh, for the, attending the program. But if you took a test, you can fill the information here. If you took a GRE test, that is mostly the case for American students, you also let us know, but it is again not, not necessary for the application. If you did take it, you fill the information about which kind of test, what was your result, and Again, you upload a certificate of this, but it's completely okay if you did not take it. Last but not least, in the additional information, you fill what's your preferred location or teaching university. You can set the priorities between Erlangen, Jena and Karlsruhe. If you have any further documents, you can upload them here. And we would be happy if you let us know how you learned about our program and if you specify this. If you're applying to other programs as well, you can note it here in this line. And in the end, you just uh, click the submission disclaimer and save your application. When or once the application period starts, in the bottom of the page, you will find a button that says send email to the referees. 
before you click that, make sure you filled the contact information correctly and inform your referees that they should expect an email from the portal. They will be asked to fill in the reference form online and once you submit the, so once you send the emails to the referees, you won't be able to change them anymore. In case they do not receive the email or you have any troubles, you can always contact us by email. So our emails have been sent and when your referees submit their references, you will also receive an email that notifies you that this happened. So once you received both or three of them, you will know that all your references are there in the portal. Then you can submit your application by clicking the submit button in the bottom of the page. Make sure all information you filled in is correct because you won't be able to, fill, to change the application afterwards. In case you forgot some necessary information, the portal will also inform you, like I did with the contact address. Once your application is correct and completed, you submit it. You can also download the documents you uploaded to check that they are the right ones before you do so. And then you see your application has been submitted, you can view it and you see a little tick marks that tell you that your references have been submitted. You also receive an email uh, telling you that we received your application and informing you about the rough schedule of the selection period. Once the application period ends and all the applications have been submitted, we will get in touch with you by email and inform you about the next steps. Now, if you go back to the portal in the open campus menu, you can also add an application for the research phase or check your progress. So I'm just going to show you a few specials about the research phase application. Most of it is the same. There are only a few, but important differences. Most important thing is to have the references because these have to arrive on time. We have now two new tabs. The first one is publications. So you can submit a list of your publications or add a link to your Google Scholar or inform us about your academic achievements in some way. And the second tab is the PhD topic preference. This is instead of a choice of location in the additional information. You can check out the topics at our website and find out which fellows do we have in these fields. And ideally, you can also mention a fellow that you would like to work with in your PhD. So that's it. Uh, the rest is the same. You fill all the information correctly, upload all your documents, and importantly, in any case, submit your application by the 1st of December. In the portal, you can also view both your applications and you can download a PDF that, that it comprises all the documents and information you submitted to us. So you can check again if everything is correct and that your, all your documents have been uploaded there correctly. If you encounter any problems, again, you can contact us by email and send an updated document. It will contain everything you submitted in the order you did in the portal. So make sure it's all there. And that's it. We will be looking forward to receiving your application and hopefully welcoming you next year in Germany. Apply by December 1st at photonics.maxplanckschools.de